Hi guys, today I have some Hunger Games footage for you. Um, I'm just going to let the uh, game kind of run in the background, I will talk about it uh, bits and pieces. Uh, it's quite a good game, I don't end up winning, I don't even get top 10, but um, a bit of a random death, so I thought I'd break down what happened and why the game played out the way it should. Um, unfortunately I haven't been making videos recently, I've had a few internet problems, sorry about that. Um, I will put a link in the description to a Reddit post to give you guys a heads up on what I was doing. Random creeper explosion at spawn. Um, uh, heads up for what I was doing while my internet was down, um, which is just a little build that I got bored and thought, you know what the hell, I'll throw something together. So, sorry about the lack of videos. Um, here, I'm gonna start doing these breakdown videos because the game, the Hunger Games servers aren't releasing new kits every day, and, you know, I kinda wanna get some videos out for you guys, but I don't wanna be sitting around not making videos for you guys just because no one's doing anything so I thought I'd just get some gameplay, talk about the gameplay, see how it goes. Um, as soon as I start, get my logs, get my mushies like I always do, found the swamp biome which is quite nice. I think I'm running vampire in this class, so uh, in this game, so we'll get to see some hill kills effectively. So uh, yeah, that should be good. Get lots of mushrooms. I end up filling up my inventory with mushroom soup, which is always a good idea because mushroom soup, you know, never hurts. Always, it's always a good idea. So the more you can get, the better. So, quick crafting table. Let's get some swords. Because I'm not a boxer, I am going to need a sword. But um, yeah, for some reason, uh, this game is a little bit laggy. So there's a couple of things that may not make sense. Things jump about a little bit and. Um, I randomly stop crafting. Um, some guys buried me in a hole, which was always great fun. Uh, I kind of struggled to find my crafting table at some point, so you see me kind of wandering around just clicking. But um, as in, as in, as in, as as uh, as invincibility nearly wears off, they come down to get me. But uh, get a kill, heal, cause I'm a vampire. Lot tons of crits there. I was loving it. He tried to escape, and I was just like, no, no, you can't escape. And then kill him to get myself back to full health, which is what I love about Vampire. So now that I'm full health, I'm going to get out of here and go exploring. Um, I would like just to point out, a lot of people have been checking the description out in the videos and redeeming their free week of VIP. Uh, VIP on these servers gives you a green name, lets you join servers, even if they're full, and gives you two bonus kits. So if you want that, totally one week for free, in the description there'll be a trial link. Um, when that does run out, I get this. I get asked this a lot. What you gotta do is you have to go to mcpvp.com forward slash order. I'll put that in the description as well, in case you guys forget. And you go there and you give them some money, and they'll give you VIP. I think it's five dollars a month for VIP, which is like three pound twenty, and ten dollars for MVP, which I don't get because it gives you a couple of extra stuff. It gives you the ability to respawn, which is always useful. But it's only in the first five minutes of the game, so not something that's going to be too helpful if you're the kind of long haul survivor kind of player. But yeah, if you guys want to check out, um, you can get the kits from mcpvp.com forward slash kits if you want to buy some kits, if you want to buy some M if you want to buy some VIP and things like that. So if you haven't redeemed my free week of VIP, don't buy VIP yet. Free w free week of VIP on me because you know I appreciate your help and I appreciate your support and I appreciate you guys subscribing to me. So, I got some another guy on my compass, I tracked this guy down, I'm not sure he knew what he was doing, he had no weapons, he kinda didn't hit me, he was just trying to collect some wood, so, kinda feel bad for killing the noob, but, um, sometimes it's gotta be done, it's Hunger Games, you gotta live, or die, and sometimes you gotta choose who's gonna live and die, and sometimes the person dying has to be a noob. So, I find another guy on my compass, I'm going for more of a kamikaze role, but I'm a vampire, so it's kind of more appropriate, you know, if I was a cultivator, I wouldn't be doing this. But um, I do this a lot, and I want to talk about this. I, I, I find someone on my compass, and when this compass starts spinning, I know they're below me. So I dig straight down, which is never a good idea. Just because, one, you could fall into a cave and it'd be horrible. But I usually end up getting killed, because for some reason, if you're above people, you can get lots of crits, like you saw earlier, and if you're below people, you can get lots of crits. So I tend to get critted, I tend to die, and this time I just couldn't find the guy. My compass decided to spin around, and after I went down, it then pointed somewhere else. So it was kind of a waste of time, and I kind of been u could have been using that time to go get killed. And I just kind of give up and tower out and leave because 
leave the guy to his own devices. We'll come back to him later w w when we win the game. Unfortunately, I don't win this game, but that is the kind of mindset you want to be thinking. If a guy's going to waste your time, and you could be spending that time getting other kills and dropping other people and stopping them getting full iron before you, then maybe that's kind of the game you want to be playing. Make some more mushroom soup. Uh, because for some reason this game I just decided to fill my inventory with mushroom soup, which is you know it, which is fun. Can't can't complain. I think I tried to leave the crafting table here because I wanted some space in my inventory, but I couldn't get the block to stay on the side, so I kind of had to pick it up and run with it. But um, you know, not, not complaining. Saved me a little bit of wood, but I had enough wood to make another one. So I have another guy on my compass. So we're gonna go hunt him down. Now I find a small crack here, and I see the coal. I see the iron, so obviously this is where I want to be. And my compass to turn around, so I know the guy's going to be here too. So, although I do turn my back to the guy for a little bit, a lot of the time while I'm mining, I'm keeping my eye forward, I'm making sure I can see, so that if he came for me, I could get my sword out and I could take him down. I then see his name tag, so obviously this guy's dead. He is sitting there hiding, I'm not sure if he was AFK or something, but then he kind of comes out and doesn't really do much. So I got some food from him and um, my inventory likes to dance around a little bit for some reason in this game and pick up all the stuff and I have some iron now so I'm going to make some furnaces and try and get an iron sword iron sword is what you always make first so let's get that crafted make two just to speed things up a little bit I can get split the iron my inventory is a bit full at this point so I have to chuck some stuff down I did throw down a stone pickaxe, which is quite a bad idea, because I could have thrown down like a wooden pickaxe, and it would have been a lot better. But, um, get all my iron smelted. Again, I'm also looking around, checking the... I actually don't check the compass, and I really should have. Because the compass points to your nearest player, so if you're in... Uh, if you're somewhere where you're going to have to stay still for a while, and your nearest player is a certain direction, you can look in that direction, because if anyone's going to come for you, it's going to be the closest player, because you're going to be on their compass too. So... Tried to throw some stuff out of my inventory here, it doesn't really go very well. As I said, the game wasn't the greatest of connections, but I do manage to make my sword. But then I pick up all my wood tools and try to get them out and, and try to pick up the iron and failing horribly. Which is kind of just a waste of time, so you kind of need to learn to manage your inventory so you don't have these kind of moments here. But I got my tools, the furnaces are done, so I'm just going to mine them so I can pick them up quickly. One of the iron didn't get smelted, which is kind of silly, because now I have to hold it, which is always a bit difficult. I see that I have five iron, so um, I'm going to go free up a space in my inventory by uh, smelting it, uh, by uh, crafting it into a helmet. I know that you should make a chest plate first, but I'm kind of on a hunting roll, and it's the only armor I have, so it is a good idea to kind of build some quick stuff. So let's go through a crafting table down, and make that. Again, this is another instant of quite bad server lag. I make the helmet and then the helmet disappears. See, click on it and then disappears. I turn around. Luckily I turn around really because there was a creeper coming for me. Uh, I pick up the iron that I dropped on the floor. Luckily no one stole that. And then I actually make my helmet properly. Stick it on. And then my inventory kind of opens and closes randomly. I think I was trying to click something and then that happened. get my next target on the compass and it's hunting time so unfortunately uh, we're coming to the end of the video here so uh, remember to like comment subscribe and everything else um, if you've got the weak VIP go buy some VIP go buy some kits if you haven't then get the weak VIP first um, I'm chasing this guy and um, my inventory lags out again and I must have not seen him uh, because I kind of stand in this cave for a little bit and try to sort out my inventory, which is the worst idea. And he one shots me. So, gotta stay focused on the Hunger Games, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later with another breakdown video.